morale and the greetings to the president of Mkondoisi's party, the president Zuma, and the deputy president, the Dr. Shope, the, the secretary general, Dr. Maseko, the treasurer general, the commander Mates, the national chair is considered in Teco, and the deputy national chair is commander Spiluan, and the DSG is uh, commander Nomozi. We are here in the press conference of Mkondo, which is a party, to announce uh, the structures of Mkondo, which is a party. That is the primary purpose, a party which we voluntarily have joined and for correct reasons. Uh, when we were speaking in the other platform, we made a plea for avoiding of mischaracterization of an otherwise correct and revolutionary decision and act to join Cordoba's party. What President Zuma is doing with Mkondoisi's party is what the statement of Mkondoisi's did in 1961 on the 16th of December to say that now that the liberation movement has been banned, what other platform do we express ourselves? What other instrument do we use to fight for total liberation? There is absolutely no doubt that the liberation movement is no longer existing in the form that it's supposed to be. It has been captured totally. It is directed from elsewhere. And then this is a platform. And what is unique about Mkondo is a pattern. It's a purposeful foundational approach and principle is to assemble people who can govern society to come and govern society in South Africa. It's not wishful thinking to say that we have got these ideas of what we're going to do. It's to assemble the best of the best. So if you were to check even with the people that have been identified now, the first consignment that is going to the National Assembly, if you go to check their track record objectively and not bled by these nonsense of right-wing media platforms, you will accept that the contributions that Air Brand Mulifer did in the public investment operations in the in Transnet in ESCO, you would appreciate the contributions that Esiabonga Gama did and contributed in a Transnet, stable organizations. Whatever can be said even with the, the former SARS commissioner, there have been a lot of things which were misled about for a very long time that everyone else who is not a puppet of the establishment is in the name of the people. That is not the case. And people will think that I'm saying this because I'm on this platform now only. You can check the public statements and writings and articles and even interviews that we did when we came to the realization that for a very long time we misled. In terms of our characterization of society, they say there's capture because they were no longer in control of key state institutions. The white capitalist establishment was no longer in control, and then they say there's a crisis. If there was truly a crisis, why, why is that crisis not there now? Can they show us the crisis which they say existed before? So to assemble the best of the best amongst black people to govern society is a best decision. And to associate with that is a best and sound decision. People who can govern, like it's, it's as simple as that. <laughs> if you say that who amongst ourselves is the best and then we say, let's assemble those who can demonstrate that they have got capacity to run otherwise very complex and huge institutions. 
who are not going to collaborate with the establishment and switch on electricity on and off and say it's not changing because there's a crisis of this and that. People who are genuine and real and they have never done anything wrong and of course will be criminalized for one reason or another. I agree that we should unite all the progressive forces into common agenda because this thing of small, unviable political parties is not sustainable for the future of black people in South Africa. And, and the temptation as well, and I'm not characterizing the EFF, is that when you have got multiple of these, like they end up being victims of individuals. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. um, IFP, UDM kind of arrangement, what, what is it to achieve with them? <laughs> when all of us can set aside our, our, our very strong egos and say, I don't have to be a member of parliament, I don't have to be a deputy president. I can come and be led by a collective, like and be subjected to a collective, and be asked to go and organize branches of MKP from scratch. And that is what we're here for. In terms of, and so that there's not even confusion. By the way, we spoke about the unification of all progressive parties with President Zuma last year, October, before the official announcement of Mkotos is a party. And I was amongst those that said that, let us go and contest elections and separate political parties. We'll contest each other on the ground, but we'll come back to talk about what do we do moving forward. So the, the attempt for unification is not just an opportunistic one because there were electoral declines of the EFF and all of those things. It's a genuine political discussion, which all South Africans must enter into, those who are in favor of the revolution. Because revolution is the content of what we're standing for. It's not just know if it's me, you're betraying me. You know, some people will say, you're betraying me. Where does that enter? I, and, and you don't even once suggest that I'm betraying the revolution. I'll never betray the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in the business of trying to please each other's egos here. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the business of bringing a revolutionary movement that is going to emancipate the black majority and Africans in particular, and we are unapologetic about that. Mm. That is what we stand for. And President Zuma, when he was inducting all of us yesterday, he says that we might be friends or we might think we're friends, but friendship won't apply here. Yeah. Yes. If you do not do these things right, you're going to be taken care of. <laughs> Some people were asking me that what is going to happen because in NKP leadership changes every week and all of those things. What if they change? I said, like, if I'm removed as national organizer, I'm going to be a member. Yes. And if I'm removed as a member, I'm going to be a volunteer and put posters <laughs> even without yes. approval of the leadership. Yes. And that is what we are all about. I think all of us, all the progressive forces. Let's unite and build this movement. There is no dictatorship, there is political discussions. In all the times that we've got to enter every present zone, he has the patience to have political and ideological discussions, to persuade people about how to move forward. He does not stand to subjectively gain anything out of that. It's not like he's subjectively going to gain anything out of it. He had said that let's unite all the progressive forces so that we can build a solid movement that will take us uh, forward. Otherwise, the other things that are said are not worth responding to. We're going to go to the ground. Let's coexist, all of us, and then let's persuade each other. Let's build the MKP as a party which is going to take over government.